Hey guys, Matt, Kentucky Range Time. Back at Northeast Kentucky Fishing Game today, and uh, this place is hopping. Uh, every range at Gate Two and Gate Three has, has had something, one or two, or even three people set up on it, uh, which is unusual to find. Uh, I got lucky that uh, the the Disarm Four range up here. There was a guy leaving when I got here, and it's a it's a small range, only has one table, so it works out perfect for me filming today. Uh, but there'll be a lot of shooting in the background going on and there's always shooting going on, but it's uh, You can even hear over from the other range today, but and what I've got is uh, the 590 s and my Mossberg 500 uh, These have the same length barrel on them uh, I, Last night I moved the pauldron recoil reduction system off the Mossberg 500 uh, and swapped it for the butt stock that was on the 590 s and uh, I know when I was shooting these the other day shooting these three inch uh, uh, Magnum double lock buck loads. They were, they were pretty, uh, they were pretty intense. And today I'm going to shoot these on with the pauldron uh, to see the difference. So these guns, uh, the 500 has a heat shield, and it also has a, a, a TriStar side saddle and a rail and a red dot on it. Uh, but they're almost the same weight. Uh, the, the the pauldron recoil reduction system adds probably 12 or 14 ounces to this and then the butt stock uh, and of course it has the ghost ring sights and, and some extras on it too uh, which which actually brings the weights up really really close so with these weights being so close what what you're going to see is a similar recoil from from each each rifle so you know it's close enough to, to actually do a comparison for the recoil reduction provided by the pauldron uh, recoil reduction system and i'll have some pictures of this thing uh, when I had it all broke down the other day, changing the motor, I took some good pictures of this, uh, and I'll have them them coming up here at the end of the video. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot two rounds of two and three quarter uh, double lock buck, and then I'm going to shoot two rounds of three inch fifteen pellet double lock buck uh, out of each gun. And I've got two cameras rolling, and then I'm going to do a, a side by side comparison of the recoil on these. You'll be able to see the difference in the recoil on my shoulder and. Uh, all the testing that we've done on this, this uh, pauldron recoil reduction was uh, actually designed by Knight Technical Solutions out of Huntsville. Uh, the testing that we did on this initially uh, with load cell showed that there was a much greater recoil reduction with the three inch shells than there was with the two and three quarter inch shells. So as the recoil increases, uh, the, the springs and the, the dampening system in this thing engage and actually provide more recoil reduction with harder, uh, harder hitting shells. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can tell the difference here. So I would expect the two and three quarters to see not as much recoil reduction, but I would expect to see quite a bit more recoil reduction with the three inch shells. So we get set up and get going. So I'm going to add one more uh, into the mix on this. Uh, two and three quarter, uh, 1200 foot per second. These are two and three quarter, uh, 1,475 foot per second, double up like as well. Going to run the same scenario with this 590 and this uh, pollen recoil reduction system. That was the 1200 foot per second. This is the 1475 foot per second. And these 
which will be the three inch. So, uh, my initial thoughts being right here on the range was not as hard hit into the shoulder and not as much muzzle rise uh, on the follow-up shot. So, uh, the two angles I've got going here, we'll, uh, we'll get back and we'll compare those and I'll get this video up here pretty soon. All right, guys, Matt, Kentucky Range Time, Mossberg 590S with the pauldron recoil reduction uh, system installed this it all lives right here in this this uh, what would be the six position adjustable buffer tube there's actually a set of ring springs in here and this little cap right here provides uh, room for those springs to compress and absorb that recoil and because they're not they're not a coiled spring you don't get the big re return uh, of the stored energy in the spring like you would with, uh, with most other systems. So, and this is adaptable with any uh, mil-spec buttstock and any mil-spec pistol grip. Uh, we've adapted this in to fit the shotgun with the Mesa Tactical uh, grip adapter. So, all right, there it is. Okay guys, so I've got home and I've got some initial editing done uh, on the uh, shotgun footage. And what's coming up next is uh, sequences of two shots with the Mossberg 500 standard buttstock and then two shots, same rounds with the 590 with the pollen recoil reduction system installed. So you're gonna have, and they're, they're in slow motion, so you'll be able to see the muzzle rise on these and a little bit of the, the impact into my shoulder a little bit better in slow motion. It happens so quick at live full speed that it's hard to see that. So you'll have two with the uh, 1,200 foot per second, two and three quarter inch double lock buck. You'll have two clips with the 1,475 foot per second, uh, two and three quarter inch double lock buck, and then uh, two rounds of uh, the three inch double lock buck. And watch and see, and uh, I'll have some more comments after the clips are over. All right, guys, so uh, just exactly what we expected uh, from, from the initial test results. Uh, definite increase in recoil reduction with the pollen system installed there. Noticeable in the video uh, for, the, uh, for the lighter loads uh, and, uh, and the medium load, but definitely noticeable on that three inch uh, double lock buck. And uh, you know, that's a significant amount of recoil reduction there. And not only did I, could I tell a big difference in my shoulder, but also in the muzzle rise. And uh, so, you know, that's a that's a big plus. Follow-up shots, getting back on target, uh, and not beating your arm to death are all pluses 
uh, that this thing will provide. So that's the pollen recoil reduction system. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, if you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. If you want more information on pollen, I can also uh, give you some links there. We'll see where they're at. And uh, as always, I'm at Kentucky Range Time. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that like button. And if you got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks, guys.